The video you are about to view is an unboxing video for Influencer. I have not been paid to review these items inside the box from Influencer. They are all complimentary. channel today is a influencer unboxing video and this is the moto box box now moda in Spanish and French or Italian or something like that means fashion and I took a little sneak peek on my cheat sheet online on influencer um, nothing to do with fashion a little misleading there influencer but nonetheless, I am grateful that I did get the box. Um, what I saw, I didn't get to see any shades or anything like that for, you know, cosmetic stuff that's in the box. Um, but I am fairly happy. I actually got this box about a week and a half ago or something like that. Um, I took a look at my tasks on Influencer and all that good stuff. A lot of the stuff I had to film to get points. So I went ahead and did this whole Jergens one week challenge or whatever. And there was something that I saw on the cheat sheet that I really wanted to try and kind of give it a real review before just kind of making assumptions. I'm gonna start doing that with every box that I get. I'm gonna keep it for a week and review everything in it. But this is the box. Uh, the last box I got was purple and it was the Vitality box. And this is a pink box. So it's the Moda box. So the first thing that I have is this little card and it shows you a bunch of little fashion people on it and cosmetics. You do get cosmetics in this but there's nothing to do with fashion in this box whatsoever and I'm kind of disappointed. So I'm going to pull out the first thing that I see and that is the soft pack puffs one pack. Um, I don't really generally get cold at all, if any, during the winter time or I don't have allergies either. So uh, these are pretty useless unless I'm using these to wipe my face, but I typically just wipe my face with makeup remover wipes. I'm probably just gonna put these in my boyfriend's bathroom just because I'm not gonna need it and I don't know anyone in my house who's gonna need it, so. These retail for $1.99 to $2.49 a pack, and if you get a three pack, it's $4.99 to $5.99, which seems a little ridiculous because they're tissues. The next thing is, is if you guys watched my last Vitality Box box from Influencer, you would know that I got a drink with it and it was tea and I didn't drink it. I had somebody else drink it and they didn't really like it. But in this box, I got Resource Natural Spring Water. I don't like water. People say water doesn't really have taste, but to me, bland is a taste. Now apparently it's slightly flavored water. I don't know what that means. I don't know how something can be slightly flavored. So this is probably gonna just end up in the refrigerator until my dad takes it to work or something like that. I know I'm not gonna drink it because I really, I don't like water. Water and tea and stuff like that just kind of make me feel sick. And it retails for $1.49 a bottle, which is, I don't, I'm completely baffled by the fact that the tea in the last box, which was only slightly bigger than that bottle, was $5.99 and this bottle, it's just a dollar ninety nine. It's or a dollar fifty, whatever. So the next thing that I'm gonna pull out is um, this little coupon, which immediately tells me what I got next, even though I already know. Uh, it is forty cents off Swiss Miss Simply Cocoa mix, um, and it came in this little plastic bag that comes with cocoa mix. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like hot cocoa. Uh, the only reason why I ever drink hot cocoa is maybe once a year and um, I don't drink all of it. Usually I just eat the marshmallows in it. I'm not really a fan of hot chocolate. I like chocolate milk that's cold. But I know my boyfriend drinks this stuff occasionally from time to time and my second oldest brother actually used to devour these things. So this is probably gonna be another thing that I give to my boyfriend. Oh, I can't keep, I keep calling him my boyfriend, he's my fiance now. The next thing that I pull out is the Jergens Ultra Healing uh, hand 
lotion. Um, I don't particularly use lotion all that much unless it's like after I'm done shaving or something like that. I had to do a one week challenge for Influencer for this. Uh, I completed it. I just got to film it. I did not use it on my hands, to be honest. This lotion is really, really, really super watered down and greasy at the same time. Once it dries on your skin, it actually feels pretty good. Try to do it about the same time in the morning as I would when I take my shower. I think there were like two days that I put it on at night. Like I said, I didn't put this on my hands. I put this on my feet because for whatever reason this year, I've never had this problem ever before, but this year my feet wanted to start to crack and peel and all that. So um, it didn't matter how much I exfoliated or lotioned up or anything. But the next day I had peeling flaky dry feet and uh, I decided, well, why not? I have this lotion, let me use it. Uh, because it's extra dry healing moisturizer. And I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. Um, it didn't exactly help 100% with my problem on my feet, but it did help enough. I would say about 75%. Um, it's not as bad as it was about a week ago, so I will probably be using this. Um, the next thing that I got was the reason why I actually opened my box and decided I wanted to review everything that I got in the box that I could review. Uh, before I actually filmed it because I wanted to test it and try it and you know see how I liked it compared to oh I think I might like it I think I might not um, but it is actually hair food mask by Clairol and let me just say me and Clairol have not been the best friends uh, since I first ever bought black hair dye from them uh, it ended up turning my hair green and I had never dyed my hair previously before I had natural brown hair and I dyed it black and by the time I had washed it, you know, when, when you're young and you use shampoos that have sodium little sulfate in it and you don't know that that's what causes black to go to brown again, it actually turned my hair green. So I have not used Clairol products since and uh, I was a little hesitant about using this but because it's not hair dye, I decided I'd give it a chance. And this actually works pretty good wonders. It is not cheap. It is about $14.99, $15.99, something like that. Just for, you know, this tube, I would think that maybe a little bit bigger tube, the price would be worth it. Um, but you do get a $3 off coupon in the box at Target. So technically it drops down to like $11 or $12 or something like that. But it smells like honey apricot and it leaves your hair feeling so soft and smooth and it just it really does wonder for, wonders for your hair if you dye it a lot or if you um, use heat a lot like I do. I do both a lot and really it just puts the nutrients and proteins back in your hair that you take out when you strip it with dye or bleach or you know heating products if you don't necessarily use heat protectant the way that you're supposed to this really comes and saves the day now this is not long lasting guaranteed my hair is gonna feel like this all the time pretty much once you put the heat on it without the heat protectant or you bleach it you pretty much back to where you started it it's literally it's a mask once you wash it out or do something with your hair it's gone and you have to put it back in for it to feel the way that it did when you first put it in. But this is an absolute amazing product. I would recommend this to people. I wouldn't recommend it to people who um, overkill their hair. Probably maybe those who, you know, only dye it a certain time a year or something like that. Or someone who doesn't really use a lot of hair products. And if they do, it's very seldom with it. Or if they don't really use... Uh, hair curlers or hair straighteners or blow dryers or something like that. Um, I definitely recommend this to them. This stuff is not going to save your hair if it's already fried or dead. You're pretty much going to have to cut your hair off in order to save your hair so new hair can grow. So this is not a miracle wonder. This is just temporary quick fix. The next thing that I got I was a little stumbled by. I didn't know what it meant when it said transparent. But it is the Rimmel London Moisture Renew Lip Liner. It is universal transparent color. Um, I had to do a little research. What it means is um, it looks white, but it's transparent when you put it on your lips. And what that means basically is 
Um, not only does it lock in moisture in your lips, but it really helps if you're wearing a matte lipstick or a matte lip cream or something like that. The Universal Transparent Lip Gloss will keep it from feathering. It will keep it from coming out to here like I have it now going on, but I've been wearing this lipstick like all morning and I didn't even use this because I didn't want to take it off the box. And So this retails for $5.99 to $6.49, which is uh, a little outrageous in my opinion because it's just a transparent lip liner. It doesn't really do anything besides stop feathering of lipstick. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using it a lot. I, I might usually only when I wear mattes. And yeah, I mean, the only lipsticks that I do wear are mattes, but I don't wear lipstick every day. So the next thing I got was another collection of Rimmel London, and it is the Moisture Nude Lipstick. And it comes in the shade 700, which is Nude Delight. I don't wear this kind of color at all. I, I did swatch it a little bit. I took a lip brush and painted it on my lips, and it looked completely weird, and I am... More than likely, never ever gonna wear it. I might give it to a girlfriend or something like that. I don't know yet. But um, I did see a couple of girls got, you know, darker, richer colors in their box. And I was just like, how did you guys come to the conclusion that I needed this? When I, I have reviewed this before on Influencer, but I reviewed it with uh, a darker color. It had a, a really deep red color that I said that I loved very much and I wanted to try it so bad. But I ended up with like this nude color and um, my skin tone, uh, because of the lighting, I don't look as white as I normally do. Um, I have it pretty dark in here. I don't have any lights on. This is just natural sunlight. So I don't look as pale as I usually do. But being as pale as I am, something with nude color just looks weird. Now the price is absolutely redonkulous. Now the price for this lovely lipstick is... $6.99 to $7.49. Completely ridiculous. The last collection was only about maybe $4.99. And I just want to say that this stuff smells like old grandma perfume and suntan lotion. I don't want to put anything on my lips that reminds me of my grandmother or a day at the beach. But the last thing that is in this box that I was probably second most excited about, when I got the box I was so ready to open it, not just for the hair food, it was actually for the Rimmel London Scandalized Rock and Curves Mascara. And I know that the line of Scandalized from Rimmel London has been out for quite a while. It's had some different series going on with it with colors. Um, the newest one that came out was red and on the packaging it's actually kind of like um alligator scales or something like that like if i stroke my finger down i can actually feel the scales and uh before i get into the color or anything or the price just let me say that this brush is weird apparently it's supposed to be a broken heart shape and um i was a little concerned because I always tend to poke my eyes either with mascara or eyeliner and it just makes me cry and I have to go and rub it off and then put it back on and hope I don't poke my eyes out again. But I was seriously surprised with how well this wand worked. It says you can get really close to your lash line, like basically hugging it and you won't poke your eye out and um, I'm not gonna lie at first I had to figure out which way to turn it just for the curves to get into my lash lines. But after you get that down, it's really not that hard. I never really wore a lot of mascara growing up when I started getting into makeup just because I already have really long natural full eyelashes anyway and falsies are just like impossible even though I can wear them. It just seems a little bit too much for my face. I gotta take this hat off. This hat is annoying. But the retail price for this is uh, $5.49 to $5.99. So it's cheaper than the lipstick. But once I got it down, it was pretty easy to use and there wasn't a lot of cleanup to go on. And I'm actually wearing it now. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it. I hope you do, but this does have a safety click on the top. Hopefully you heard all those clicks. But anyways guys, that's it for today's unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoy this and subscribe to my channel, like my videos, all that good stuff.